If you really want to see the platinum coastline shining bright, you got to sail at sunset. I booked a private catamaran tour with my friends Rebecca and Ryan of r, r Cruising Barbados. And I invited my first exclusive getaway couple for some VIP treatment. They're so lucky. Uh, I was brought to Barbados nearly 15 years ago to basically train some chefs out here. And I fell in love with the place, fell in love with the people, massive surfer. So obviously going back to England was a bit like, why am I still in England? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tears come out. So I came back out here and I started self-employing myself. We're trying to work with an alcohol company over here and we're basically building this traditional jerk pit and we're going to use the alcohol a lot in the flavourings with the foods, combine the rum obviously with the jerks and we're going to do from jerk lobster to black, black belly sheep and jerk pork. So we're trying to use everything local as possible. What about for the vegetarians and the seafood lovers? We're doing a lot of fish. We're even going to work on some like eggplant jerks and different ways of doing vegetables on the grill just to have a little bit of fun with it. It's going to be a challenge. I'm not saying it's not going to be a challenge, but we've definitely got to put it in there. You've got to cater for everyone at the end of the day. I'm a massive fan. I mean, I've, I come from Michelin star background restaurants. I've cooked all the food from London to South of England. I've got the experience. I've got the training. I've come to Barbados. And I've noticed that there is fantastic produce here, but there's, okay, it's, it's not massive, but there's the most beautiful produce, seafood, vegetables, everything's grown here. There's some people that grow a lot of organic fruits here and vegetables. I mean, I, I go picking in my truck. We pick from mangoes to sapodillas to avocados up in the forest from tamarinds. And if you look, you will find. And obviously I'm a sea boy, so I go spear fish and I shoot my own fish. I pick up you know, lobsters at night and you know, you get to learn and love the island. You've got to love where you are to really feel the passion for it. It's the same with food, it's a passion. And you come to Barbados, you want flying fish, you want jerk pork, you want bread fruit chips. And I think a lot of the chefs here lose the sight on what the people actually want to pay for. They don't want big fancy restaurants. You can eat in England, you can eat in New York, you can go to Miami, we all do it. You know, but when you come to the Caribbean, you want to you want to experience the local foods. You want to come on a private catamaran <laughs> and dine all fabulous. I mean, it's amazing. Uh -huh. We've had the most amazing afternoon here. The most yeah. beautiful couple here. Mm -hmm. We've had an amazing experience. They've had an amazing time. The food's been great. The company's great. Yeah. It's what the Caribbean's about. Oh my gosh, beam me up, Scotty. I'm entering the Barbados Food Wine and Rum Festival, and I'm going completely 100% Beijing foods. Mm -hmm. So we're using breadfruit to make wonton crisps, and we're going to do braised black belly sheep and butter cassava. We're going to do fresh lobster beef. I'm going to even pick the sea rocks off the walls and garlic fry them and put them in a the soup. And I'm going to have some fun. I want to have some fun. It's like I want to show the younger chefs that yes, you can do completely international, you know, quality food using the local produce here. I want to have some fun. I want to, you know, stand out and say yes, I'm doing it. My current projects, I have two businesses up and running. One's called the Bento Box, where we do sushi for the people. And the second one is my big venture, which I've been doing for quite a few years, is Scott's Catering. And we cater for the Sandy Lane and Royal West, Royal West Mall Houses. And we've been doing that for quite a long time, very well established. And everyone seems to know us around here. And that's, my, that's my fun, that's my passion right there, get to have some fun. Well, r, r Cruising is all about rest and relaxation, about enjoying Barbados, about enjoying all of the scenery, all of the, um, the weather, enjoying Barbados to its fullest. Mm -hmm. um, we like to take people on a really relaxing sail down the west coast of Barbados and just give them an opportunity to relax. My dad is really from here and he moved to Trinidad when he was a little fellow. And um, when he grew up, he really wanted to catch up with his heritage and moved back here so he brought us with it with him and since then I've been enjoying every moment of it. I suppose we like to give people a little, little bit of luxury and um, you know let them feel special, let them enjoy the day, let them feel looked after. That's what we're about really. Nice. Now for all our sailors and seamen out there, Ryan, tell us about your craft. Uh, we have a, a catamaran here, it's called a leopard from South Africa and it's 47 feet and she can handle the wind like a dream. <laughs> she moves really nice and it's comfortable to work with in shallow waters as well. And um, you can spend the night, do some night diving, put your sails up to whatever you want and enjoy some good speed with this boat. And it's fully furnished and ready to go. And for all you islanders out there, I mean Barbados is a beautiful island amongst many islands and we're I'm one piece in a puzzle. 
And I think you should move around. Get to know the puzzle. Come to all ends. And we're here, ready, just like you as Caribbean people. We're going to meet you halfway. Thank you for joining me at Waves Barbados. I'm Janelle Bonter, and I'll catch you again for another exclusive getaway. If you need more travel tips or you want some advice to plan your own getaway, check out my travel blog at islandexclusive.com. This episode of Island Exclusive has been brought to you by Waves Hotel and Courtesy Rent-A-Car Barbados. If you wanna come get it, then come for it. I'm so clean, my kicks nice, I'm Chuck Norris. Men that made the beat bounce, had to jump on it. Run for it, run, run, gump forest. Forest gump, like hollow pumps, you gotta jump. No trouble, no double, I gotta stun. I don't chase, they chase me, I gotta run. I like a lot of fun and a lot of funds. Busy boy, I gotta go, but gotta go. Keep my kids, but no, I don't got a son. Now she on my belt buckle, Louis V. 